We're learning new information about a leak at the gaming board. WCIA was first to report the state suspended a staffer for sharing confidential information with the federal government. Now we're getting a better idea what that staffer handed over to the feds. Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell has the story from Springfield. The Illinois Gaming Board, located on the fourth floor here in state police headquarters, acknowledged it has a leak during a recent board meeting. Earlier this month, the Gaming Board became aware of a possible unauthorized, dis unauthorized disclosure of licensee personal information by an IGB employee to individuals at three government entities. Documents we obtained under the Freedom of Information Act were heavily redacted. They show the State Gaming Board suspended a staffer who leaked highly confidential personal information of licensees and applicants and sensitive files from gaming board investigations. That source emailed the information to three federal agencies. Another gaming board email asked one federal agency not to enter any of the leaked information into a public court record. In the same documents, gaming board lawyers acknowledged they met with a federal agency about a pending case in September. That's the same month the feds raided former state senator Martin Sandoval's offices. These federal investigations have been so secretive, that tells me that they're doing things right. State Senator Steve McClure is a former prosecutor familiar with criminal investigations. You're just trying to get as much information as possible. You talk to as many people that are willing to talk to you as possible, and that's the goal. You're not necessarily looking for a person on the inside to sort of be a spy. The documents suggest the leak was unsolicited, meaning the source could have sent the information to the feds on their own. The information was disclosed. All we, all we can do at this point is speculate as to why it was disclosed, what the, what the person's intentions were when the information was disclosed. We don't have enough information to say this was because they were a whistleblower or this is because they were something else or that. We just don't have that information yet. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell. The gaming board also has its hands full working to roll out the long-awaited era of legal sports betting and it's reviewing 10 casino applications.